a number of top Trump picks on Capitol Hill today as they prepare for their upcoming confirmation fights. And while many Senate Republicans seem completely on board with the president-elect's elections, others are raising potential concerns today. Let's bring in CNN's Caitlin Collins, who's covering the Trump transition for us in West Palm Beach, Florida. Caitlin, we're just learning that the Trump team has signed a memorandum of understanding with the U.S. Justice Department, which means that Trump's nominees, including those on the Hill today, will start undergoing background checks. Tell us more. Yeah, Jake, this is a notable development given the delay here. Typically, this is something that an incoming president does pretty quickly after they win an election. They do sign this this agreement and others with the, the current administration so this process can start. And obviously, the Justice Department uh, memorandum under, of understanding has been one of the biggest ones because it does allow the FBI to start conducting those background checks on the senior most aides that Trump is trying to put in his cabinet or in his top positions inside the White House. It means that they can start looking at classified information as well as this begins to get underway. And the reason, Jake, that this is so notable that it's happening now is because we are hearing from a lot more uh, vocal Republican senators saying that they do want to see the FBI conduct background checks, that the ones that the Trump team had talked about having private investigators or private companies carry out just was not going to carry the, the, the same weight with these Republican senators, some of whom may be on the fence about some of these nominees when it comes to how they're vetting and looking at them, because obviously the FBI background check process is done to make sure that these people um, have a full understanding of what is in their background and whether or not they should be trusted with the nation's uh, most classified secrets. And so looking at that from that perspective, Jake, this is an announcement that came today from the Trump team with a statement from the incoming chief of staff, Susie Wiles, about getting this process going, because there had been some concerns internally. One, the Republican senators were going to ultimately demand this, certainly those that are on the fence and two that it would delay the confirmation process because typically for the attorney general for the secretary of state for those top jobs those are done pretty quickly after the incoming president is inaugurated because they need those people in place at those obviously cre those key and critical agencies jake and so a few things though to note here one it's not totally clear that they are going to submit all of trump's picks to get background checks. That is something that we're still trying to determine uh, from our sources of what this process is going to look like. And if every cabinet pick is actually going to have to submit to an FBI background check for these senators who are going to be vetting them and what that looks like. And Jake, I'll also remind you, this was a big issue in, in Trump's first term when it came to security clearances. It led to the ouster of his staff secretary, Rob Porter, after they found troubling information in his background in regards to women. But also when there was, uh, Trump was given advice by top officials in his administration not to grant Jared Kushner a security clearance. He overrode those concerns and granted him one anyway, even though he had said at the time that he wasn't going to be involved in that process. So how this all shakes out still matters. Senators today. Yeah, and there's a meeting that's about to start in a matter of minutes with Senator Eric Schmidt of Missouri this coming after a number of Republicans are simply not saying how they would come down, whether they would support this nomination, but acknowledging that this could be a difficult road because Democrats are likely to be in unison opposing this nominee. And more than three Republican senators, if they were to vote against him, that would mean that he could not get the votes to become confirmed. There are much more than three Republican senators who have concerns, have questions about these allegations of misconduct that have come out in various reports. And one key senator earlier today, Senator Lindsey Graham, acknowledged a tough road ahead and for Hexet to get the votes. Some of these articles are very disturbing. He, you know, obviously has a, has a chance to defend himself here, but you know, some of this stuff is, is going to be difficult. You know, time will tell. I like Pete. I've known him for a very, very long time. And the other senators, including Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa, someone who is, herself has been a survivor of sexual assault and has called for reforms at the Pentagon and how it handles those crimes, has been notably undecided about this nomination. In fact, she was asked earlier today by our colleague Ted Barrett about her concerns, and she indicated she was going to have a thorough and frank conversation with Hexet later this week. Now, it's still possible, Jake, that these Republican senators could ultimately fall in line, but there's little margin for error. One key Senator, Senator Susan Collins of Maine. I asked her if she has concerns about all these reports and the allegations of misconduct involving Hexeth. She said she wants to see that full FBI background check, review all those allegations. She said those all need to be investigated by the FBI before she makes a determination here. So a long road ahead for Hexeth to get this job. There's a lot of Republican senators right now undecided, Jake. All right, Manu Raju, thanks so much. Let's jump right in. 
uh, with our, our panel. And, and Mike, you heard Senator Lindsey Graham there saying uh, HEGSES confirmation will be uh, difficult um, now that we know the FBI background checks are uh, in process, although who knows if HEGSES is going to get one or, or not. Um, do you think Republicans are nervous about what might come forward from that process? No, I actually, I, and let's just assume that Hegseth is going to be one of the individuals that, if not all of the nominees, that will have background checks. Well, it sounds like some Republicans are demand, demanding and insisting on it. I think it's a game changer, mainly because at some point with all of the allegations that are against Hegseth, they were going to have to go to a background check anyway. We are following a couple of breaking news stories um, that really move forward in advance. The story we live with in the last hour, the troubled, increasingly scandal-plagued candidacy of the man Donald Trump has tapped to lead the Pentagon, former Fox News weekend morning anchor Pete Hegseth. Just in the past few minutes, we have two new headlines, two new bodies of reporting to tell you about. NBC News is now reporting that Republicans in the Senate, quote, are growing increasingly skeptical about Hegseth. Three Republican sources with direct knowledge of his nomination process telling NBC News that as many as six Senate Republicans, perhaps more, are currently not comfortable supporting Hegseth's bid to lead the Pentagon. And the seemingly daily new allegations are, quote, taking a toll, putting that nomination in peril. And as if on cue, we now have explosive new reporting from NBC's national security correspondent, Courtney Cuby. Here's the eye-popping headline on that piece of reporting, quote, Pete Hegseth's drinking worried colleagues at Fox News. The report continues, quote, Hegseth drank in ways that concerned his colleagues at Fox News, according to 10 current and former Fox News employees, 10. Two of those people said that on more than a dozen occasions during Hegseth's time as a weekend anchor, they, quote, smelled alcohol on him before he went on the air. Quote, one of the sources said they smelled alcohol on him as recently as last month, end quote. Joining us now for this breaking news, NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Nobles and NBC News national security correspondent Courtney Cuby, both of them bylined on these reports. Um, Ryan Nobles, I'll start with you. Yeah, Nicole, it does uh, seem increasingly clear that Pete Hegseth has uh, a, a hill that is getting steeper by the moment when it comes to winning confirmation uh, by the United States Senate. Uh, we are reporting that as many as six Republican senators uh, do not feel that they can cast a yes vote for him in his nomination process. Remember that he can only afford to lose three Republicans uh, if every Democrat votes against him uh, and to win confirmation. And really the issue is this, uh, what seems to be a daily dose of new reporting around Hegseth's past uh, that points to serious accusations about mistreatment of women, uh, serious accusations about the abuse of alcohol, serious accusations about his mismanagement of the various organizations that he was in charge of. Uh, and, you know, when we talked to Republican senators before Thanksgiving, there was some optimism that Hegseth would be able to explain at least that initial round of allegations and that the loyalty to Donald Trump would be enough to push him over the finish line. We're getting a much different sense from Republicans today. Uh, they're concerned that there could be even more revelations that come out uh, about his past that could uh, put them in a difficult position to vote yes on his confirmation. I should point out that a lot of the reporting that I did uh, about the future of his nomination came before this report that Courtney just uh, dropped uh, about his connections and the concerns about his alcohol use while at Fox News. So uh, I, I think that this is not to say that his uh, his nomination uh, is completely over with here. He still has a, a path to confirmation, and many of the senators, at least publicly, are saying that they want to give him the opportunity to explain his side of the story, uh, that they want to be able to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. They want him to be able to sit for a public confirmation hearing where he answers some of these questions. And this might be the most important part of this process, Nicole. They want him to undergo a rigorous vetting, a rigorous background check, uh, a background check that would include an FBI background check, which we know is something that is not a guarantee right now in this Trump transition process. And it feels at the very minimum, if these six senators that are right now uncomfortable, perhaps more, the only way that they're going to be flipped around is if he goes through that uh, vetting process. So guys, what you're seeing there is a crushing of Trump. Two big blows to Donald. And I hinted at this in my previous video, right, where 
you saw his buddy Lindsay again. One of the he's he's not the most right wing Republican, but he's maybe one of the most sycophantic Republicans to Trump um, in in the Senate, right? In terms of how he you know goes to Mar-a-Lago and 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 is always there hanging out with Trump, sort of annoyingly like Elon, right? But now there's a big fight at Mar-a-Lago over this because Lindsay is doing the thing that he often does because he's too much of a coward to criticize Trump uh, directly. So he very passive aggressively starts these fights where he says, well, you know, this Hegseth guy, I just don't think it's just really troubling. You know, he deserves a hearing, but you know, we, I can't see it happening. That's not him talking to Hegseth. That's him talking to Trump saying to him, your pick is failing. And this is coming at a time where the FBI, with a shocking bombshell on Trump, now finally does have approval to do all of the checks and whatnot. I don't know if they'll actually get full information or if Trump will try to hide it away like a classified box in a bathroom. But, like, hypothetically at least, that means the doors are going to be busted wide open on all of these Trump picks. And I'm sure most of them are not going to have dozens of criminal records, but I would be nervous if you're one of the shadier people, you know, like your Hegseths, right? So this is just getting started. His buddies attacking him on international media and the FBI is closing in. 